Hey, this is Daniel K here with Evolve Lab to give you an update on the Revit view renumbering add-in we've been working on. Now, if you do a lot of documentation work in Revit, this tool could save you a little bit of time and a lot of frustration. Okay, so if you haven't seen our previous video on this tool, essentially what it allows you to do is update the detail number of a view that's already been placed on a sheet without getting that annoying Revit detail number already exists error, which if you work with a lot of sheets and documentation, you have most certainly run into. So in this case, I have a sheet full of typical wall details and say I want to add a new one somewhere in the middle. In this case, I'm adding the 10 inch CMU RD type. It comes in as 12, which is the next available number. And what our tool used to let you do, is click on this renumber single view button and you can change the detail number of the selected view. In this case, we want it to be 6, 4, 5, 6. And it will automatically update any conflicting detail numbers. Automatically increment, actually. So 6 went to 7, 7 to 8, etc. Without getting that annoying Revit error. Now, the biggest new feature we've added is this other button that allows you to renumber all views on a sheet at once. So say you want to change this from a number system to a letter system. We can simply click the renumber all views button and enter our starting detail number, which in this case we want to be A. Notice up here it'll tell you what sheet you've got selected so you know what sheet you're renumbering. And this drop down, we're gonna keep the default option, which is use current order for now, which will renumber the views in their current sequential detail number order. When I click OK, it renumbers them from A to L. And say I had another sheet, I wanna do the same thing, but maybe I wanna start at what comes after L, M. We can easily do that. Now this sheet goes from M to W, so our detail numbers are consistent across multiple sheets. Another feature we've added in this release is the ability to have a customized detail number order. For instance, you might not want the numbering to go from left to right and top to bottom. Say you want it to go from right to left and bottom to top, which is often the case when you're working with printed sets because this bottom right drawing is often the easiest one to see when you're turning through those big pages. So to do, that, to do that, we'll click on the same Renumber All Views button. But in this case, uh, I'll use the number one so it'll switch back to numbers so we can see what's going on. But in this case, we're going to use the Select New Order option. And as soon as you click OK, it'll prompt you to select the views in the order you'd like to renumber them. So we're going to start with the bottom row from right to left. And notice we get this little rainbow that sort of tells you what order you've selected them in. So you can see how they will be renumbered the second row from right to left, and then the top row. And the moment you click the last view, the program knows that there, you've selected all renumberable views on the sheet, and it will automatically go ahead and renumber them for you. So notice we have one to five in the bottom row, six to nine in the middle row, middle row, etc. Now, another feature we've added is the ability to number only, renumber only some views on a sheet. So say for instance, you want to, um, Renumber this bottom row with the prefix A, because these are all wall type A. We can do that using the same tool by clicking the Renumber All Views button and entering um, an initial detail number of, let's say, A-1. And then from the drop down again, using the Select New Order button. Now, as I select the views in the same order, uh, when I'm finished, I'll just press Escape instead of selecting more views, because I only want to renumber these five, and bam. It renumbers them from A1 all the way up to A5. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the next row, starting with B. Nope, B1, yeah. From right to left, and I press Escape, and you get the B1 through the B4, and I'm just going to finish off with this last row, my wall type C. So it kind of speeds up the renumbering process. And just for fun, I got a little spiral view here. So in case you ever need to renumber views in a spiral formation, or any crazy formation for that matter, you can do it with this tool. If I enter a starting detail number of, let's say, S1, and S1 because spiral, and use the Select New Order option, it'll let me select the views. Right now they start from the inside and go out, so I'm going to switch it. So they start from the outside and go in. And if you accidentally select the views, say, out of order or something, you can just click on the one you've accidentally selected to remove it from the list and the colors will update automatically. And when you're all done and you get that last view clicked on, bam, it'll renumber them from S1 to S14 from the inside out.
And that's all for the latest release of the Evolve Lab View Renumbering Tool. If you want to give the latest beta version a try, there will be a link in the blog post. Feel free to try it out. And if you have any other ideas for apps or add-ins you'd like to see, feel free to reach out to us at Evolve Lab. Thanks for watching.